So, ready? We're going to walk in. First thing we're going to do with the event is we're going to meet or greet the honoree, the host, right, or the organizer before they get up on stage and speak. Because you've done your homework. You know who they are, right? You know this because you've looked at it ahead of time. Now, you've noticed again, I don't have PowerPoint. If someone is fiddling with their PowerPoint projector and they can't get things to work, you don't want to interrupt that moment. Note again that I don't use PowerPoint. Okay. <laughs> So you want to chat with them for a moment. You probably only have a moment, um, but has anyone here ever presented something, ever been a speaker somewhere? Yeah. So it's really nice when somebody kind of comes up to you at the beginning and says, I'm really looking forward to, or I'm hoping you'll talk about, or I read this thing you did, and it just makes you feel like, okay, yes, the thing I'm here to talk about is of interest, and actually, I would love to use like what you're sharing as a case study example that we can all talk about. And now suddenly that's free advice. You, you know, you come up to the speaker and they ask you, oh, can I talk about your issue? That's awesome. Now you're gonna a whole room full of people giving you in information and advice. So this is really, really helpful. It might only be a couple of minutes, but then you can send a follow up email, right? Now at the end of the session, people are gonna line up. And so what you can do is you can actually work the line. And what I mean is, so you're at a conference. So what most times happens at a conference is people show up at these conferences, they pick the sessions they want to go to, they walk in the room, and they sit at least every other chair, right? Like at least every other chair until the room's more than half full and they say, I'm sorry, may I sit here? And they like sit down. And then they sit down and they get small and they get on their phone. Right? Or they like flip through the program book. They look very interested in this thing. They just got their packet. It's just gonna like read all of this. Meanwhile, you could talk to people anywhere, right? You could talk to people at line, online at the Starbucks, or you could meet these people who also come to the same session as you, right? These, so you had five or people at a conference. These 30 people came to this session. These are the kind of people you wanna meet. You could meet random people at Starbucks, or you can meet these people. So what I do is I walk in. I put my bag down right next to someone. I say hello while still standing. And then the person in front of them usually turns around because no one else is talking. And I go, oh, do you guys know each other? And I introduce them. And then the person over here looks over and we introduce him and, or her and they pull in. And so we start talking about things and then the side of the room's like this. Because they're like, that looks like a lot of fun. Right, so you gotta like disrupt the space a little bit. And if you're ever volunteering at a conference or running a conference, you can actually bring tools into these spaces to make it more likely that people are gonna talk to each other. Kind of like we have these asking about and I'm looking for tags on the table. Um, and we actually plant regulars at these tables when we can so that people will be engaged in conversation. So let's say you, you've done this, now it's the end of the session. People are gonna line up to talk to the speaker, maybe to get a book autograph, things like that. So instead of just passively getting online, because you've already chatted with them and shook their hand, I just stand to the side of the line towards the end and I ask a question. And somebody who's extroverted responds. <laughs> right? You can always count on people like me being in the room, is what I'm trying to say. And then suddenly two or three people and not myself were having a conversation and I'm kind of generally kind of walking with them towards the front. But it doesn't matter to me whether I already get to the front because I've already met this person. But there's always a break. It could be a break for coffee or a break for lunch right after the session. And don't I want to leave this space talking to someone, engage in a conversation with someone that I might want to have a further conversation with and meet their colleagues that they're about to meet up with? So this is how you take from I don't know anyone at this conference to suddenly you're having coffee or lunch with some great people. And you did it without all the advanced planning, but with, by following these simple steps.